you guys, today I am going to be DIYing a captain's hat. These have been extremely trendy and they've been popping up everywhere and I really wanted to buy a festival hat but a lot of them are really expensive online um, and rightfully so. Some people design some absolutely incredible hats um, that are like super intricate. And they have all these incredible details on them but I'm on a budget right now, so I was like, I'm just gonna DIY my own hat and we're gonna give this a try. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have in front of me um, that I just picked up at the store to create my hat. And let's just see how this goes. I haven't practiced, I haven't done this before. Uh, I have an idea of what I want based on what I bought, but really this is gonna be trial and error, so hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> But before we get started, I just wanted to remind you guys, please subscribe. I would absolutely love it if you guys are new here um, to check out some more videos, hit that subscribe button and hit the post notifications bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I think that's all I've got to say. Give this a thumbs up if you want me to do more DIY videos. I'm actually sitting down today to film a couple because like I said, it's been a while. But with all that being said, let's get into what you guys will need for this DIY. So like I said, I picked this up on Amazon. I really just looked up captain's hat because I think that's what a lot of them are called. This one was $25 with shipping. It was 30 bucks in total. I'm also gonna be like adding up the price of everything so you can um, see how much it really costs you to make one. A lot of the hats that I was seeing on Etsy were over over $100. Um, some of them were over $200, which is crazy to me. So yeah, for the hat itself, it was 30 bucks. This is our base. It fit me pretty well. <laughs> it's huge. It's like way taller than I thought it was gonna be. But anyway, oh, let me go get the outfit that I'm wearing this with so you can see my inspiration. Hold on. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be wearing this to Imagine Music Festival. It's gonna be my first time attending that festival and I'm so, so excited. Um, but I actually picked up this bodysuit how cool is that? It's got like these little um, strings that will go like across my stomach and it's a really pretty, it's a, just like a nice scoop back. Uh, I'll probably wear this with like fishnet tights but I really liked it and it's a silver fabric but it's really like rainbow when it's reflective so I kind of liked that it was a darker silver but I can p play with that like rainbow coloring as well. And this was from Forever 21. It was literally 19.99. Who knew Forever 21 sold rave clothing but it was one of those purchases that I saw it on my way out and I was like, why not? Maybe I'll wear this. So for starters, you guys will need a glue gun 100%. I've had this ooh, I've had this glue gun forever. I use it to make like a lot of my candy and stuff. Extra glue gun craft sticks. I have scissors in front of me and a Sharpie just in case I need to like draw anything. And now the fun part. So for the top of my hat, I wanted to either put a fabric or paper so that I don't have to spend too much time like designing the top of it. So I'm gonna get glitter all over my house. I found this, I'm obsessed. It's so glittery and rainbow. So that is gonna be going across the top of the hat. So I'm just gonna like draw a circle. So we have that. For like this portion here across the top, I wanted to do like another fabric or something. So I found this felt paper. Again, it's black and it um, the reflect is rainbow. So this will be fun. I wanted something like right in the center to be, and I actually found letters. So I'm gonna put my name across. So I got E-M-M-A in like silver gems. So we're gonna put Emma across the top of the hat. I'm really excited about that. I have had rhinestones, you guys. Like these are so old. Again, I used to make rave bras all the time. So I have all different shapes and sizes, colors. I have rainbow, I have silver. So we're gonna be doing a lot of gems on this, probably mainly like the bottom and then the brim of the hat. Uh, are gonna be all bedazzled. And my favorite part, um, I was originally gonna do like, I don't know, gems across the top or fur trim, and then I saw these, and I was like, we have to do pom-poms. Fucking pom-poms. So I'm lining the whole rim of the hat with pom-poms, and then I bought this, this is like a maybe for me, but I bought just silver um, beads that I probably will hook around here and then like that will be a uh, little strap. So I'll probably do a couple layers of that. So I'm gonna pop my headphones in. I'm gonna go listen to some music or some ASMR videos and just totally zone out while I create this. But I'm gonna zoom you guys in and you'll be able to see me doing everything as we go. So let's just get started.
Okay, so we have all the black fabric on. I like wrapped it around. So it's on the top of the brim here and the back. So it goes all the way around. See, it's a little weird here. This fabric was kind of tricky to do, but like I said, all the mistakes you're seeing, I'm gonna be covering with pom-pom. So that's the next step. We're gonna go glue pom-poms on everywhere and we're gonna cover all this up. Okay, you guys, so I put the letters on. How cute. So these are stickers, which is really nice. So it actually, I don't even think I'm gonna put any glue, but I was just really playing around with the placement and I think there's like too much space in between these. So I'm just gonna still play around and move some things over, but it's nice that they're stickers cause I can just pick them up and keep shifting them around. But that's where we're at right now. The next step, I'm actually gonna take the big pom poms and I'm gonna line this seam here. So right under the letters. And then we're gonna do um, gems all on the bottom and like around this strap too. So I'm gonna go move the letters, I'll be right back. I love it. This is like perfect because it covers any mistakes that I had. <laughs> um, and it's like so fluffy and so colorful. So the next part, I kind of don't really have plans. I think I really just want to like bedazzle this completely. We have like a little rope here. Um, so I'm just going to have fun with all the gems and figure out some sort of pattern. So we're going to wing it. Let's see. Okay, so I laid out my pattern here. I'm going to be using these two gems. Bigger, so I don't need as many. So we're going to line and this part here with those guys. Any ideas? guys in the next stage I'm debating whether or not to put these like around the outside of the brim here because we do have a lot of pom-poms here <laughs> so I think it actually might be overkill so I might just leave it this way but I'm gonna try and add this chain now and give us a little bit of a strap here so that's gonna be the last step and then I think we're all done with this guy yay so I actually just stuck this around here and it's on really tight so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I just gotta figure out the length that I want it here and then I'll just cut it and attach it to the other side and just leave it like that. Okay, you guys, so we have reached the end of the video. I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like. I am so happy with it, honestly. It was a work in progress. I feel like with these things, you kind of just have to wait till the end result because there's a lot of glue everywhere and I had like a lot of mistakes, but here is the final hat. I'm obsessed with it, you guys. <laughs> I already, I'm gonna put it on, but like, it's just so loud and colorful. 
and when the light hits it like the glitter on here is so shiny and i love the little bedazzled beads at the bottom and the pom-poms and like the rainbow it's like so colorful and so me so i ended up literally just attaching this strap on the sides it hooked like right on here and it's like on really tight so I have my one little strap. I will say when it's on, this hat feels like big. Maybe my head is just small. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta like zoom back. But this is what it looks like when it's on with my little pom-poms. So like I said, it feels like, look at that, like really loose for my head. Like I don't know how I would be able to dance with this. So we attached this strap here so I can just like dance and bop around and sort of like hold on to it. And it's cute. and. Yeah, that's the whole hat. I'm so excited. I, en I ended up not putting the pom-poms on here because I think it's like, it's a lot of pom-poms already. And that wasn't too bad. I mean, I think all in all, like three hours to do, maybe two and a half hours. And everything together, um, the hat, like I said, was $30. And then I spent $39 at the Hobby Lobby. So all in all, it was $69 for this hat versus like between 100 and 200 dollars that you can spend online and like i said like i have a lot of leftover stuff that i didn't open so i might return some stuff to the hobby lobby and i already had all of my gems purchased so just factoring in a couple costs there not too bad two two and a half to three hours and 69 bucks for my own custom festival hat I think that was pretty good. I'm really proud of myself. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment below what you think. I hope you guys like this. Um, like I said, I'll put the links down below to all the products here. If you guys wanna pick them up, I'll link the hat that I got on Amazon. I hope to see you guys at Imagine Music Festival. Look for this hat in the crowd. And I'm also gonna be hosting a meetup with my girl Vibe with Aid. So yeah, look out for us there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.